Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now, if your computer's not booting up and you've got a suspicion that your hard drive may be failing or it may be bad, then I'm gonna show you how you can quickly uh, scan that hard drive with software for free and to find out whether the drive is failing, whether it has bad sectors, whether the smart reading is bad on it. And we're gonna take a look at that, how to do it in a Win PE environment. So even if your computer is not booting and you still want to scan that hard drive, you don't need to necessarily remove the drive from the computer. You can actually boot into uh, a live environment and scan that drive for bad sectors uh, and stuff like that. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it in this video. So first off, you need to create your USB flash drive and then boot to it. You can see I'm gonna be tapping F1, F2, Escape, Delete or F12 to get into my BIOS so I can change the boot order. Next, we need to click on settings and inside the settings pane, we can click on uh, the boot mode selection. And you can see here, I've got mine set to legacy plus UEFI. Now, if it is set to UEFI, you may want to change it over to legacy plus UEFI. It makes it easier to boot to those devices. Then we need to change the boot option one to our USB flash drive. And you can see I'm changing this to SanDisk and this is going to be my priority boot which means it will then force it to boot to that USB flash drive. Then we need to go into advanced settings and then USB configuration. Yours may vary depending on what motherboard you got, but you can see here legacy USB support is enabled and that's what I wanted to make sure. Now we can click yes to save this configuration and get ready to boot up. So what we're gonna do is boot up to our WinPE. And we're just going to let this boot up and that's going to take a bit of time but once we get this booted up we will be able to scan our hard drive for any sort of issues errors or anything like that any bad sectors so we'll just let this uh, WinPE load up now you can download this for free this is a free download it's classed as Hiram's boot cd pe but i don't think it's uh, been created by the um Hiram's boot cd uh, creator so here we are at the desktop of uh, the WinPE here and inside here we've got a utilities folder which we're going to go into and inside here we can see we do have some hard disk tools. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to look at diagnostic and we can see we have uh, Western Digital Lifeguard Diagnostics. What I'm going to do is fire this up, agree to their terms and conditions here, go next and this will then load up the software now you can see it's already detected uh, the computer that is not booting so for instance this is the drive 54 gigabytes yours will be different and yours will be named different this is a virtual machine but you can see here that it has detected that drive and we've got the d drive which is our large drive where windows is installed now if your system is not booting uh, because of an hard drive uh, issue or maybe a uh, hard drive is dying or failing this will then soon tell you that the drive is failing now you can boot to this on a usb flash drive and create one of those if you want to see that video let me know in the comment section below but it is straightforward you can just create this and uh, away you go so you can see here click to run the tests so i'm going to click on here and then this will give you the quick test extended test erase or review uh, view uh, the test results so we're going to do a quick test here just for quickness going to click yes and you can see here please close any other programs any uh, open files in the drive and you can see this and click ok and it will then start to run a test on that drive physical drive one that's the one it's doing a test on and you can see the drive here is physical drive one so it's definitely doing a, a test on the drive that is not uh, booting so if you want to do an extended test you can also do this you can see it's passed so i'm going to do an extended test and let me just show you that here now this is a much more extensive test and will take a lot more time to run but if it is a drive that is failing uh, you may want to uh, run this extended test now also you may want to back up all your data before you run any sort of tests on your drive because obviously 
you are putting stress and strain on that drive. So it's always best to make backups of your data before you do any sort of testing on that drive. So what you do here is let this run its uh, scans and it will come back and give you the results of that uh, scan. Now also if you want to get the smart information for the drive, obviously this is a virtual machine, but if it was a real uh, computer, you could go to the G Smart Control or you could go into HD uh, Tune and this will give you the information and the smart of there. You can also run tests for your hard drive on here. You can do error scanning by doing a quick scan, which I've shown you before, where you can run scans on here. And this will do a quick surface scan of the drive to see whether the drive is damaged in any way, shape or form. And if it is, then obviously you can replace that drive and it's a really good way of testing uh, your hardware. Also, you can check the health on here as well uh, for this uh, particular type of drive and get the information. And also it will give you information here of that drive. And you can also get the smart information uh, for the drive as well. This will little drop down menu here will give you if you've got more than one drive it will let you choose the drive that you want to do. Now also just quickly here, we're gonna have a look at G Smart Control and uh, this will give you the information for, you can see here, VBox hard disk. So it's not a real hard disk, but if it was a real hard disk, it will give you the smart information for that drive and it will be listed here and you'll be able to see whether the uh, drive has got any sort of uh, bad issues with it uh, via the smart uh, readout there. Of course, while you're in this live environment, you can also do uh, scans for software and run software from inside of here. It won't um, uh, be on the disk once you've uh, rebooted the disk, it will disappear. So anything you install will be only temporary. Uh, but if you do want to do a quick scan with something like Crystal Disk, you can also do that. And I'll show you how to uh, do that here. We're just gonna download it. It won't give you the information uh, on this virtual machine but you'll get the general idea of how it works and you can download the executable file so I'm just going to hit the download here there we go and now we can quickly run this program and this will create a shortcut and just let that launch distal, uh, crystal disk info here now you can see also the information is not being listed here, no health status, no temperature, and that's because this is a virtual machine. But if this was a real uh, computer that you've booted up to with this uh, disk or USB flash drive, you would then get the information for that disk it, uh, on here. But you can see this is a virtual hard disk, which means it's not a real hard disk really. So you can see here. So that is the, the crystal disk, you can use that as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I have noticed uh, there's a, some sort of issue going on with YouTube uh, where I'm not getting the uh, view rates and I'm also not getting the comments from the normal people that leave comments. I don't know whether those people have disappeared, but generally uh, some people normally comment all the time, which I've not seen anymore uh, over the last week or so. So I don't know whether there's an issue going about, but obviously the uh, view rate has obviously dropped dramatically as well on my latest videos which is happening and uh, I need to look into that I'm not sure what's going to happen but maybe there's some sort of problem uh, with uh, YouTube at the moment because I'm normally seeing a lot more uh, views and I'm not seeing a lot more uh, comments and that's not happening at the moment anyway I'm just going to wrap this one up so thanks again for watching guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.